Hey lovey, what do you think about this tree, this place for your new nest, your new home? We can put your pillow here, it'll keep you soft, your blanket will keep you warm and cozy. You can have an ensuite up here, like a whole toy room, a playroom, a study up there to do all your fun things and play with your toys and all that sort of stuff. And, and your friends would come and, and stay in the guest room. What do you think lovey? Is this the place for your new nest? Ah, oh, lovey, that's such good news. I'm so excited to be making this nest with you. All right, I'm just going to grab a couple of things and then I'll come back and we can start building it together, okay? All right, let me go have a look. Let me see what I can find. And oh, hello, Michael from Doing Life Together. Hope you are safe and well. I'm out here today with my friend Kimochi's Lovey Dove building a new nest, a new home for Lovey. Can you say hi, Lovey? Hi, Lovey. Oh, and look, Love is giving us a beautiful small head nod, a little friendly signal to say hello back to you and back to me. Thank you so much, Lovey, for that friendly signal. Now, before I continue, you may have the large kimochi at home or at school, that's fantastic. You might have the mini kimochi, that's awesome. But if you need to, follow the link in this video description to our website, download this template and make your own Lovey Dove puppet ready to use to play along at home, at school, online, wherever you might be. Now, Lovey loves nests because nests to Lovey are friendly places. They remind her that we need to be friendly and caring and kind to each other. So much so, Lovey likes taking people under her wing. Can you try this with me at home, at school? Try taking someone under your wing. Lovey has another little surprise to remind us to take people under our wing. Have a look at this. We're going to find it right here. <laughs> it's Turtle Dove. Say hi, Turtle Dove. Hi. Oh, this is little Turtle Dove, and Turtle Dove lives under Lovey's wing, like this, tucked away, nice and warm, nice and safe, and Lovey takes her and keeps her safe under her wing. We'll talk more about that shortly. Now, Lovey, as I said, loves nests because nests are friendly places, and in Kimochi's, we have a saying, it goes like this, friendly faces make friendly spaces. In other words, when you and I make our friendly bigger and bigger and bigger, in the places we're in, our classrooms, our homes, our families, our friends, those spaces become more welcoming and more friendly and more safe and more people want to be there and be part of those spaces. So Lovey teaches us that we need to use what we call friendly signals. Can you try for me? Give me what you think might be a friendly signal. <laughs> That's right. Some of you might have done a wave or a high five or a thumbs up or a small nod of your head. All of these things are friendly signals and they say to someone else, they say to our family, to our friends, to our teacher, to our brother, our sister, they say, hey, I'm feeling friendly today and I want to make you feel welcome in this place, in this space. How cool is that? And lovey, can show us a few more friendly signals. Are you ready? Are you ready, Lovey? Yes, all right, here we go. Lovey can do a beautiful little nod of the head because some people, remember, don't like big friendly signals. They just like the small ones. Lovey can wave. Lovey can high five. Lovey is also getting ultra modern and she can wind up her wing and she can fist pump. How cool is that? That is what we call friendly signals. Now, if you were here with me right now, I'd ask you, one of you to reach in and pull out a feeling that Lovey's having right now. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think that feeling is? Yes, it's our friendly feeling. And what tells you that that is friendly? Yeah, you might have said the big smile, the wide open eyes, the open hands, ready to connect with another person, with a friend, a family member, somebody else. Now, what I'm going to get you to do is just turn to your mum and dad, your brother, your sister, your teacher, your small group, whoever you're with right now, or a mirror to look at yourself and just show them, show yourself, what does your body do? What do you look like when you're feeling friendly? <laughs> Remember to make sure that they show you what they look like when they're feeling friendly too. It's really important that you and I know when someone's feeling a certain feeling. And one of the ways we can do that is by using our eyes, our ears to see and to hear what's going on for another person, for one of our friends, one of our family members, for our teacher. Now, I said before that friendly 
faces make friendly spaces. So the more you use these friendly signals, the more the spaces that you are in, your family, your classroom, your group of friends become friendlier and friendlier and more welcome and more people want to be around you and be around what you have to offer. Not only that, when we start being friendly to each other, which is really important, isn't it, lovey? Oh yes. When we start being friendly to each other, you and I, we start seeing people differently. What I mean by that is, can you try this? And adults, you'll have to do some scaffolding here. Put up a, a, what looks like a broken window in front of your face, in front of your eyes. You see, often people, human beings, you and me, when we look at someone, we often look for a broken window. And when we do that, we see all the things we don't like about somebody or all the things that make us a bit cranky or all the times they annoy us or don't play by our rules or don't do the things we want. We see all the broken things about someone else. And often people do that to us too. But when we start being friendly to other people, when we start to see people as lovey sees people, we start to look through what we like to call eyes of compassion. Try this with me and adults, scaffold again as you need. Make a shape of a love heart with your hands and put them up to your eyes. And now look at somebody else through these eyes. Look at your mum, your dad, your teacher, your, your friends, your brother and sister through these eyes of compassion. Just for a minute. What do you see? You know, when we look through eyes of compassion, we see people for who they are. We see what's going on in their story, in their life. We see the things they like to do, the, thing, the ways that we can be kind to them, the ways we can look after them, the ways that we can take them under our wing. And that's really important, isn't it, lovey? Yes, because we want to take people under our wing. Now, have a chat for a second. Is friendly a feeling you want to make bigger or smaller? Yes, I've given you a lot of hints already in this video, haven't I? It's a feeling we want to make bigger. And friendly signals are one tool to make our friendly that little bit bigger. But have a chat with your mums, your dads, your teachers, your small group, your friends. What else can you do? What other tools can you practice to make your friendly that little bit bigger? You might have said things like, hey, learn about my friends, what they like to do. So maybe then when we play games, I suggest ideas that they like to do. Or you might have said, hey, I can draw a picture for my friend or I can write them a letter. There are so many things we can do to make our friendly that little bit bigger. And remember, when we see people differently, when we start being friendly to people, we see people for who they are and what we love about them. Now this leads us, doesn't it, lovey, to one very important thing. Yeah. Have a look at this, boys and girls, mums and dads, teachers. Lovey has one other feeling under here because when lovey is friendly to people, when she starts seeing that different story, her heart goes, I want to help people. I want to look after people. I want to be kind. And have a look under here. We get our kind feeling. Can you see that? Can you turn to your mum, your dad, your teacher, your friends, yourself in a mirror? Can you show people what you look like when you're feeling kind? We have a saying in Komochi and it's this, make time to be kind. So as you're friendly, as you start seeing people differently, make time to be kind to your friends, to your teachers, your family, all the people in your life. Is that right, Lovey? Yes. And Lovey has a couple of ways that she likes to do that, to make her kind a little bit bigger. And one favorite she has is what we call a kindness jar. Looks like this. Get yourself as a family, as a classroom, as a group of friends, a big jar. And inside this jar, you can write on little bits of paper, all sorts of things that you can do to make your kindness bigger. For example, tidy up the class library. What a great one to do in your schoolroom. Another one, say thank you to someone. What an awesome idea. Let's find one more in here. Oh, here we go. Oh, write to a family member. It could be draw something for somebody, make something for somebody. There's so many ways that we can fill our kindness jar to make our kindness a little bit bigger. And that way, when you're feeling friendly but not so kind, when you need to make your kind a bit bigger, 
head to your kindness jar, grab something out, and as a family, as yourself, as your class, do something kind for someone else and make your kind that little bit bigger. Well, Lovey and I, we've had fun, haven't we? Yeah, and we hope these things have been helpful to you, and we just hope you have a fantastic week, and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Say bye. Bye, Lovey.